What's going on guys, it's your boy Fano here, and today I'm going to be discussing some strategies that you guys can apply when you are redeeming your Operation Broken Fang Stars so that you can maximize your profits. But real quick guys, if you are new to the channel, welcome. I highly encourage you guys to subscribe, 77% of you are watching my videos and are not subscribed. It's completely free, it really does help me out, and you can always unsubscribe later. But now back to the video at hand, so you guys are completing your missions and you want to know how to redeem your stars. There are a couple of strategies you guys can use. The first one being the conservative strategy. In this strategy, you only redeem Broken Fang cases. You hold onto those cases during the entire operation and then sell them after the operation ends when the cases start to rise in price. It is a very passive approach, but a sure way to get your money back and then some. It's boring, nothing too exciting, and it can be slow. It's going to take a couple months, but at the end of the day, you guys are definitely going to profit. If you spend all your stars, assuming you complete all 100 missions, you're going to be able to get 50 CSGO cases, Operation Broken Fang cases that is. And then after the operation is over, you sell those cases for like $2, $3, and bam, you've made a lot of profit. You can easily get 100 plus dollars by just redeeming cases and selling at the right time. So this is definitely an approach that I would recommend you guys take. But then of course there's always a second approach, which is a little bit riskier, but certainly one to consider. In this strategy, you're going to be spending 50% of your stars on cases. You can either sell those cases right away if you want to get your money back, or hold on to them after the operation and sell them for a higher price. This is the one I would recommend. But again, it's up to you if you want to sell them now when their price is still semi-high. You know, their price is going to go down as more of them get dropped throughout the operation, so keep that in mind, but just know that everything is only temporary. Nothing really lasts forever, and the prices are definitely going to rebound. And then what you're going to do for the remaining 50 stars, you're going to take 25 of those stars and redeem the operation weapons. So you're going to pick, you know, one of those collections, or all three of them if you really want to go for it, and just go and redeem the 25 stars you have on those collections. Collections. I know obviously it's not going to be a perfect 25 since, you know, the weapons cost, you know, four stars each, but try to approximate, I suppose. And then you're going to use the other 25 to redeem in stickers. So again, it's a little risky, but at the end of the day, it might pay off. You never know when you might get one of those hollow or foil stickers, which again, I would recommend you hold on to for a longer term investment. Don't sell right away. Truth be told, it's probably a better idea to just buy the stickers from the market or trade for them when their prices go down as more and more of them get dropped but I mean at the end of the day as long as you're not buying these stars and you're just getting them from the missions I'm sure it's not gonna matter too much the third approach is to focus primarily on the skins themselves and then a little bit on cases which you will keep and sell after the operation ends so for example you can redeem 20 skins for around 80 stars and then you can redeem 10 cases for about 20 stars so you will make your money back with the case investment and then you can also get lucky with some of the skin drops another approach you can do is to mimic the previous operation star system where you basically just get like nine weapons drops three from every collection one of every agent drop eight sticker drops or so i believe it was six or eight case drops and then um obviously you're gonna skip the graffitis and just go for like patches i suppose but on a similar note i do want to point out guys i want to remind you that skin prices do go up after the operation ends especially skins used heavily in csgo trade-up contracts so if you get a mil spec skin or an industrial grade skin or even a consumer grade skin like a gray in the factory new condition or minimal wear condition it may be in your best interest to hold on to them sell them about six months or so after the operation ends when their prices start to rise even if you only get grays from your redemptions i would still encourage you to keep those skins for the long term instead of quick selling them on the market right away they will have added value in the long term so be patient even if you get grays i am personally staying away from redeeming my stars for patches recoil stickers and graffiti even agents I'm not really that interested in redeeming. If I really want an agent skin, I will just buy it from the Steam market or trade for it. Spend your stars on items that have proven long-term value, like cases, stickers, and skins. I have a feeling that most people will use their stars to redeem the Broken Fang collections. There will probably be a shortage of cases this operation, making the cases an interesting investment opportunity with or without star redemptions. Either way, you guys invest and get a hold of these cases. It doesn't really matter. They're all great ways and I definitely would encourage you guys to stock up on some of these cases throughout the operation. But that's about all I have for this video, guys. So until next time, this is Fano, signing out.